So good morning, welcome along. We're from out riding for Eclipse Motorcycles this morning. We're just uh, doing our uh, six monthly blog now on this one. This is uh, Lexmoto Venom, possibly one of my favourite bikes to ride. I absolutely love the riding position of this and uh, if you do watch any of my uh, previous Lexmoto videos you know that I'm a sports bike rider. But uh, this is quite an upright little bike to ride. It's a nice little urban commuter in the 125. And we're just going to take this one out for a little bit of a longer run today. Just so obviously you can have a look at the bike, see what you think, make your own opinions, and I'll give you some pros and cons. That's the good parts of this bike, and the bad parts of this bike. Now the good points in, obviously it's a very, very well priced bike. And these retail at one seven nine nine plus your on the road fees, so for just under two thousand, you've got yourself a nice little bike, nice little urban commute to get backwards and forwards to work. It is very very well placed on the controls. Low speed handling on this is very very stable, and as you see, look, a couple of mile an hour, and it's very very well planted. So just pop the visor up on this for a minute just so you can have a listen to the purr of that engine now obviously we're going to take this one out for quite a bit of a run just so you can see the handling and the stability of this machine and obviously the ride quality now for years and years um, people have slated the Lexmoto brand Chinese bikes wouldn't touch one with a barge pole the Lexmoto quality is absolutely superb. You know, don't knock it until you try it. A lot of people, they see the name, they see Chinese bike, and they think, I'm not touching that. I'm going to go for one of the bigger brands like Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki. Yes, guys, they are obviously a little bit more money, but you get what you pay for. If you've got sort of youngster, 17, 18, a couple of grand in the bank, and uh, you want a bike, this is the bike to get. And it's an uh, excellent placement of all those controls, all colour coded as well, so you know exactly what you're hitting when you look down on the controls. Nice placement of all those clocks, so quick look at the head down, you've got your mileage there, you've got your gear indicator just down to the bottom right, so it tells you exactly what gear you're in. Nice big speedo with the kilometres on the outside, the miles an hour on the inside. Nice readout of the rev counter and also a fuel gauge as well. Now the one thing this does have is an MP3 player and a radio. If you're into uh, playing a bit of music as you ride down the road, it's quirky. But it's, it's fun, you know, what about to have your favourite tracks playing on the bike while you're out riding. And believe me, the speakers on this are incredibly loud. Hellishly loud. Now obviously, nice, nice big chunky mirrors out to the side. I can actually see very, very well over my shoulder. And you'll probably notice it on the camera that I'm picking up the car behind. So, nice big wide view in those mirrors. It goes through the gearbox very, very easy on this one. And then what we're going to do is just uh, find some nice bits of road and I'll just show you the braking performance, the acceleration. Obviously it is a 125, it's not going to be as quick off the mark as some of the big bikes, but it's ideal for keeping up with the flow of traffic if you're on the main roads. Now I know other bloggers, and there is a certain blogger that obviously uh, does the Lexmoto videos down in Portsmouth and he has had one of these up to 78 mile an hour you know that is absolutely unbelievable speed but he has had it up to 78 but I would say myself average on a 125 you're looking around about 60 65 comfortably you can get more out of them, they will go a hell of a lot faster. 
but uh, you're going to be screaming that engine it's going to be absolutely revving its backside off five speed box on this one so nice and comfortable through the gears it doesn't clonk or bang like other bikes do going through the gearbox it's not a clunky gearbox it's very very soft and smooth it goes very very well and obviously I'm keeping up with the flow of traffic on this one now I am doing a, a run-in on this so obviously I have to take my speed very very carefully for the running-in procedure a lot of other people have commented on the pages yes but all bikes are run-in yes I know they are but Lex Motor do actually state in their paperwork the first 1500 kilometers of a new engine is where you have to take care of it so that is the main thing you know if you take a bit of respect and take your time with the bike then it's going to last you a lifetime if you're going to be straight out the showroom straight up to 60 65 mile an hour you're going to be burning in a new engine very very quickly and you can see as you go around the roundabout now obviously this is fresh rubber I'm taking it easy but they're not horrible little cheap tires these tires do handle very well so credit to Lex Motor they've actually put some decent rubber on these wheels and then once again I'm up in fifth gear and it's keeping up with the flow of traffic you know it does it does handle very very well on these a quick shoulder check I'm just going to put it around a few more roundabouts and then what I'm going to do I'm going to actually take this down a dual carriageway and you can just listen to how loud this mp3 player is it's it is horrendously loud you know it's like having a full disco system sitting between your legs so very very good and as you can see pull off into a roundabout is very very good it places itself nicely and then obviously off the mark pulling through that gearbox up the fifth gear and it pulls away very very quick and the thing I do love about riding new bikes you can just smell that newness of the exhaust just burning off and it's like oh the smell of fresh bike it's like stepping into a new car and just smelling the upholstery and it's like it just has that new smell about it so obviously a big handful of front brake in neutral oh we can pull the clutch in actually but as you can see it pulls up very very sharp on the front brake now obviously with all the new bikes now Euro 4 most of them now do have the dual braking facility on this and once again feeding it through the roundabouts now we're on a dual carriageway now obviously I can't bang this up to 60 if it was a run-in bike and it was one of ours then yes I would give it a good going but it, it rocks along very very nicely and once again quick shoulder check coming out onto the dual carriageway give the other bikers a nod which is you know it's not something that big bikers do normally see a little guy on a 125 but the thing now is it doesn't look like a 125 so it will, it will get the nods off the other bikers as well and as you can see dual carriageway speed it holds its own and this is just sitting at 40 mile an hour but obviously anything a little bit more and ideal for keeping up with the flow of traffic
if it holds itself in the lane, and obviously I'm dominating the lane, I'm not off to one side, I like to dominate a lane when I ride. But with the daytime running lights on, you are seen very, very easily. So what I'm going to do now, is pull off the dual carriageway, find myself a nice lay-by and I'm going to engage this MP3 player so you can all get a listen to it. It's quirky, it's fun, and that's what it's all about on a 125, it's all about the fun of going out with your friends, the freedom of motorcycling, and this bike does appeal to me, you know. It's probably one of my favourite ones to ride. So, the pros. It's a budget bike, it's under £2,000. Fuel economy is absolutely crazy on this, you know. It is really good for its fuel economy. Tax on it, £20 a year. Oh, it used to be, I think, 17 for a 125. I think it may have gone up to 19 but obviously it's under 20 quid a year. For your tax, cheap on the insurance, you know, you're not paying big bike prices for insurance. And just look at the way it just feeds itself into these roundabouts. Handles very, very well. And it just threads through this rubber on these tyres is very, very good. So, as I said, I'm just going to pull into this bus stop now. So we're just going to pull in, and I'm going to engage this MP3 player. So it's all you need to do: turn the power on by pressing a button. There we go. So as you can hear it. That's only about half volume. <laughs> Obviously not my cup of tea for listening, but I've got a bit of Adele going here. But uh, it is loud. For a bit of a nail going out, that sort of loudness, but... That is loud. Give me a bit of Bon Jovi, or a bit of uh, Aerosmith any day, or even a bit of Nickelback. I like my rock tunes, but... Definitely waking people up. It's one of those that will wake the neighbours up. Now even with a visor down, definitely hear it. I'm just waiting for the traffic to pull in, but see what I mean? Quirky little thing, this Lex Moto Venom, it's MP3 player on it. And then once again, straight up to 30 mile an hour. Thank you. 
So obviously, I spoke to you about the cons and the pros and the cons of this, so we've done the pros. Budget bike, loads of extras on it. The cons, you know, it's a 125, it's not a super sports bike, you know, it's not going to do 90 mile an hour. If you look after it, it'll look after you, you know, if you're going to rag the pants off of this. I love it. I think this is probably one of the best things that they've done in a long time. Lex Moto Venom. This is where I wake everybody up at the garage with a bit of music playing. So we're just going to pull up in front of the rollers. Just prop it up on the main stand. See what I mean? And at a distance, and I've got no idea what this MP3 player is playing, it's not on my phone, but it is loud. And then you can obviously roll through the media on this. But very, very loud, let's just turn that off for a minute. You've got a radio as well, so you've got radio tuner on there, you've got a USB connector, or you can just disengage it. So, ideal little machine, and just looking at it, the crash bars around it with the crash bungs on it, You've got that nice daytime running light to the front, the LED indicators as well. And it's a very, very nice little machine. So, that is available at Eclipse Motorcycles. We can come down and meet myself Rev Bomb. Or just give the guys a call. We're on the web, on Facebook, so search Eclipse Motorcycles on Facebook. You'll find us on there, or you can search the uh, Rev Bomb on the Facebook, Instagram and YouTube where you can see all of our rides for the uh, Lexmoto range. Once again, this is Rev Bomb signing out and wish you uh, happy riding. <laughs>